Richard Kermond, ex-Coast Guard captain steering the lives of students at Westwood High. Okay, so being a member of the Coast Guard was an entirely different view on life than, say, being a teacher at Westwood High School. Because you are, uh, one, a member of a big organization, which by the federal government is small, but still, it's like 45,000 people, singularly focused on one thing or a series of missions that you're going to accomplish. Um, and the whole idea, it's, it's very much focused on a very, you have an assignment, you get it done. I was on seven different ships over the course of 22 years, but one of the last ships I was on is a ship called the Coast Guard Cutter Polar Star, which is a 400-foot icebreaker. Um, because the Coast Guard has the only icebreakers in the U.S. inventory, nobody else does, and we still have a mission to go to Antarctica and go to Arctic, go to the Arctic, for both science support and some logistic support. So, um, so because of that, I actually got to go to Antarctica twice, um, on two different ships, on my own ship, and then I went the year before because I'd never been there before. So to kind of get in, and that is just that is one of the most mind-blowing things of all time because you're going down to a place where very few people have ever been into an area that is pristine and beautiful, untouched. It is unlike any place on earth. The whole thing here is you gotta figure that we're trying to give people the grounding to have a broad world, to be able to say, okay, we know we're only in Westwood, but at the same time, what can we expose people to, to say that we can understand people from all over the world? So to go on a trip like that, it completely supports that because you're meeting people from all over the world. My whole career in, in, made me who I am and probably actually then encouraged me to end up coming up here. I look at my brothers and sisters who I am still very, very close to, but their view is small because they didn't, they didn't leave. They, they, they stayed kind of in this area. And it doesn't mean that their view was wrong, it's just that their view is, is smaller. What I would say is to, is to look for opportunities. Uh, try to find opportunities that put you a little bit beyond your comfort zone, beyond outside of what you think you can do. And I think that's like, if I look back at my Coast Guard career, I was constantly put into positions where I was outside my comfort zone. I had to really, you, you gotta rise to meet it. And once you rise to meet it, you can. You, you definitely can, as long as you focus in on doing it. And look for opportunities to, to grow. There's, it's everywhere. And um, instead of looking down and saying, oh no, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. It's like, you know, just, you just gotta, you gotta just go for it.